about this weather, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's something. You know, I, I heard on TV that it was going to be 70% cloudy today. And I swear I saw at least 35% of the sky today. The audacity on those people. Well, actually, they... You know, did you know that they're spraying our skies? Every day, our government? What else do you think those giant engineers are doing? Oh, you're one of those. Um, that reminds me. I saw a Facebook post that said we're going to get two to four feet of snow. It was published by some person called Weather Donkey 1993. I mean, it sounded legit. I don't know if I would trust that. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. I saw a bunch of giant woolly bear mammoth caterpillars this fall. I'm probably all right. Okay, I'm actually a meteorologist, and none of that is true. In fact, some of the latest models show that we're oh, going to so get... Oh, so you're on TV? Well, well, yeah, I work in TV, but not all meteorologists are on television. Wait a second. I recognize you. Why in the hell did you cover that tornado thing while I was trying to watch America's Next Top Goat Herder? Don't you care about your audience in the slightest? There were people in harm's way. Our duty is to save lives. Also, like, could you wear another suit? That blue suit that you wear every day, it's got scuffs on it. It looks like you found it behind a Walmart dumpster or something. I actually can't really afford a lot of nice clothes. Despite what most people think, meteorologists don't live a lavish lifestyle. Most of us you know, are just... while you're at it, could you tell that weather girl that you work with to stop wearing that green dress? It's not always St. Patrick's Day or something. Nope. Nope. Sorry. I gotta stop you there. One, she has a degree in meteorology. She studied differential equations, vector calculus, fluid dynamics, and has more knowledge than you have in those grubby little hands you're eating thin mints with. Two, don't trust a caterpillar or a groundhog with the weather forecast. Trust your meteorologist. Three, the government is not spraying the skies every day in some grand chemtrail conspiracy, so please take off your tinfoil hat. Four, what we wear and what my coworkers wear, your opinion has nothing to do with that, so please cut it with the fashion tips. Five, I know firsthand that a tornado one that I covered while you were watching your little goat show saved lives and protect people, so is it really worth it? Whoa, whoa. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Did not realize you took your job so seriously. No, nope, you know what? Sorry, it's okay. Not not everyone gets it. The job comes with a lot. Well, look at the bright side. At least you get paid to be wrong half the time. Am I right?